How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use cow's gun properly. How's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. But the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? No, uh, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but uh, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? And just focus. Breathe slowly. And always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay. Calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right. You try now. Remember to breathe. Just breathe out. Breathe out. What? I didn't even see a rat. What the hell? Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <laughs> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself Picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Uh, 
thank you for this. <coughs> I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Yo, what? What the hell is this? Oh, it, that's open. <laughs> Gotta go the other way. Holy crap. Is this some kind of a uh, reference to Frankenstein? You are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem, and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, well, well, it, it is uh, the geometry of life. Uh, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. Huh? Uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I mean. Here, take this. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Well, well you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. Conductor. Uh, 
<laughs> Almost there. But I hear wolf cries. Oh! Am I going to be electrocuted? Oh, there we go. I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. <laughs> what now? Well, now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this! Am I missing something? The switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go and quick, please. <laughs> this is such a weird mission. What the hell is this? Wait, why can't I? Can I get on there? Okay, this is not a bad idea at all. What You're I right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is like another completely different game now. Circuit? So if I turn this, the the next one would turn off. So if I do this, ooh. Won't I get electrocuted? <laughs> this is... This is steel. It conducts electricity. The ladder. And also it's raining. Water conducts electricity as well. Jesus Christ. Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000. This is my life's work. It is incredible. What? What 
is it? It is life itself. Morons who doubted me. It is me and you. Look at him. Isn't he wonderful? Is that it? For now. I am so happy. <laughs> oh, you just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes, yes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Reverend? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Oh, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion and then we disappear we need more commotion one score and one whole hell of a lot of noise we ain't so good at doing scores anymore dutch are you feeling all right arthur sure i'm fine pardon me for interrupting i brought a friend arthur hello hello dutch this is eagle flies his father is a great chief Charles and I, we, um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. And try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We 
shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peter. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. We can set out. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. If only it was that easy. Arthur, ah, Dutch. I just hope. Try not to splash too much, Arthur. Good luck. I just hope nobody dies. Not, I mean, Charles is here. He's one of the cool ones. I mean, Eagle Fly is pretty cool as well. Pull up alongside, quietly. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. I'm gonna go smoke, all right? Be back in a bit. Oh! No, not again. Man, had a snip of a good head all night. I'll be retiring in the morning at this rate. Just deal, will ya? I supposed to take out D3 without making a sound? I don't think I can. Nobody's moving, so I gotta move. What the hell? We're taking back what's ours! Wow. 
Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. There's gonna be an army waiting for us on the shore. Uh, we are definitely on the shit list of the army. So, that's that. Who are safe, I think. Get him. Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. The father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur. Will... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? You know what? Just can't get any more involved in this business, Charles. It's it's not my fight. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. Is... I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Hey, friend. No. How does it? Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life. We... Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Girl. taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well, uh... Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them starve. 
dreamers, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No, Bertram, 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 woof, woof, Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, he'll eat him. Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh... Easy there! Sherry! My time! Easy, big guy. Uh, mean man! Stop! Uh, Bad boy! No fair! Mark him get a whoopsie! Uh, uh, how did the uh, More like your tantrum, oh, mister. Not nice! No. You look like a real buffoon. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Be gone, sir. Be gone. Not, not, not because we cares not. No, no, but because we cares. What are you talking the about? Demons have us by the throat, sir. It's the darkness. The darkness. It's, it's everywhere. That he was right. What are you talking about? They come in darkness. Help! They're coming. Stay inside. Keep your door shut. So keep these dogs at bay. Oh no! Help. Okay. Get 
away from me! It's not demons. It's just dogs gone crazy. Hey, nice. Get yourselves home. No, no, no. He said he said they would come in many forms. <laughs> and he and he said his protection would come in many, many forms. forms. What are you talking about? It's just sick dogs, hydrophobia, or some other poison. He said. We were not to doubt him. No. Get your people home, mister. Then get yourself a gun and kill any sick animals you see. Life will be just the fine. Darkness has come for us. <laughs> he was right. Who was right? I was. I shall save them. And who are you? There'll be no more four-legged demons. The curse shall change. The curse has changed. What curse? These poor people. I will save you. <laughs> I just saved them, and it weren't no curse. It's just sick dog. Dark charm. Possess the woods, I told you. Oh, he, he, did. he told me he did. He, he told me. I found one. Mm. That don't touch he it. He found the curse! I found it. So? The woods are full of these. While they remain, the curse will remain. The oh, curse! Yet the woods are also full of demons. I will find a way. Oh, have I lied to you thus? He never lied to me. Come, Obadiah. Feed me. So, you're saying if someone destroys those charms, the curse is lifted? The woods are full of demons. And the demons protect the charms. And the charms protect the demons. It's impossible. I can see that. It's impossible. There ain't no demons. Don't disturb the woods. I told you. He would come, and he would help, and he would laugh. Well, yeah, you, you told us. There's, there's probably a demon here. Destroy the cursed charms. Oh. Where is it? Oh, that's, there it is. What the hell? That's one. There are 13 of them. Jesus. I remember I heard something. Oh, there. I think I heard something on my right. 
Oh. There. Still five more. Oh, there it is. Okay, so more here. Two more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There he is. Remember me? I help with those dogs. I've been seeing about this curse oh. of yours. Welcome, brother. It's a dark omen. Those charms out in the woods, they all been broken. All of them? So I guess that's it for your suffering. Ah! <laughs> it's a miracle! We're saved! <laughs> the darkness lifted! <laughs> Not saved. Huh? Cursed. Huh? He broke the charms. And the spirits are set loose. We're doomed then? Hold on. You said the charms was protecting the curse. I said it was a dark omen. I said he had the demon's tongue. Right, now, I, 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 need to, I need some light here now. I, yeah, I don't know what to think. Hey, huh? look at me. Yeah? I think something's going on in this holler. And it ain't a curse. And whatever else it ain't, this fella don't want you to know. Liar! I told you he would lie and dissemble. Something's up, and this one wouldn't be so quick with ideas he didn't have some clue of it. I have the gift, my ancestor. Well, I got a gift right here. I'm going to commune with the spirits. Dark, dark omens, dark spirits. What is he hiding? He always, he always spoke truthful to us. There, there is a dig on the other side of the hill there. There was a dig anyway. It's closed now. He always said something about not going over there. Well, maybe I'll take a look at that dig. See if I can see something. Uh, all right. This is the dig. No, am I supposed? Okay. Pool. Uh oh. It's a horror game now. <coughs> Wait, there's... There's a side path. What is here? Nothing. Just... Abandoned cart. I can't open. I can't get past it. Wait, can I get past the cart? Let me try jump over. I can't. Oh, well. All right, maybe. Can I search on any of these? I can't. Hmm. All right. Seems like no point of going. Oh. This is not creepy at all. <coughs> Whoa. 
What? Rat. Game's up. There's poison in this mine. Oh, what the? God damn you. I'm getting out of here. <coughs> Fuma choking you. Can go? Is this a dead end? It is a dead end. Shit. God damn. I'm gonna. Oh. Come on, come on. All right. I think at least I'm I'm safe to breathe around here. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> this game is full of surprises. Am I supposed to still go in here? First, you have to mark your signs on this paper. It's a powerful magic that will protect you on your journey. No, uh, I, I, I hereby will release, will absolve, and, and, and indemnify the aforementioned Roanoke Fuel Company. Stop reading. Hmm? You didn't tell me you could read? What kind of trick you pulling oh, now? Oh, you're oh. back. We thought the curse had got you. No, but he nearly did. Don't you go nowhere. I was down that old dig, and I found this, leaking all the way into the lake. Uh, You've been poisoned. No, 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 we, we, we were warned not to heed what you That's say. Right. Well, let him tell you then. What's this? It's nothing. <laughs> nothing? Oh, then you won't mind taking oh, a drink. Hey, no. hey, hey, no, hey, please, please, hey, hey, no, no, no. <clears throat> Oh, you've killed me. I'm poisoned. Poison now, is it? Uh, oh, the dig. All he found was arsenic and lead. I dug down into the cave system and spread. I was meant to get you all to go. Now you heard it. It's taken me. Oh, oh dear. Dear God, there's no arguing. It's clear as day. We're cursed. <laughs> cursed? What are you talking about? Oh, powerful forces have taken on this town. It ain't oh, spirits. Yes. It's a mining company. No, it is spirits. Spirits taken through a mining company. Brothers and sisters. We got some praying to do. Yes, you don't don't pray. Do something. You'll die. Or you worse. Just go. It's our curse. It's ours to deal with. Now the medicine man left some money. They just take it if you want it.
Whoa, <laughs> that's amazing. If you say so. Yeah. <laughs> Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, Marjorie. she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. She's a succubus. She's a succubus. <sighs> ah! Stay away from me. <sighs> hey. Partner, come back here! Well... Where are you running off? Running ain't solving anything! Wait, he's... Oh! Hey, will you talk? I'm going it alone! Where are you gonna go? Ugh! <laughs> Jesus. Where are you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Uh I don't see him. <laughs> What the hell? Over here, dummy. On the trees? What is he a trick? <laughs> well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Get me! <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there! Whoa! Ah, oh, so damn long, it. dummy! What? Where are you? You really? 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 <laughs> White way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed your brother. So you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Ah, oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Met him at the bar, agreed to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to Mama. 
Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, don't you ever run off on us like that again! Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint-Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye-bye. What I done to deserve you too? Oh! Oh, Jesus! You damn fool! Oh! Look what you did! Oh, Lord! God damn it! Freaking clan! What the hell? There we go. Oh, inspect document. Quarterly meeting minutes. Oh. <laughs> All right, whatever. I don't think it's anything that's worth reading. These freaking fools. Letter to Pa. What? Anything else? Is this letter to Pa? Dear Pa, I'm sorry I left the house. It's such a huff. Blah, blah, blah. But a scientific fact. This is science. I'm done with school. I'm sorry you parted on such terms. Whatever. Oh, oh you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her! They killed Miss Calhoun! All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs! Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or... or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on, let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to. Well. Roads railway station. I'm pretty sure okay. there's gonna be plenty Let's of try shooting. Get you a train. And Bo's just waiting at the station. Wait. In the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. <laughs> he goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well, if he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say, our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, you think this could be a new beginning? But everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave Ooh. death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But... Yeah, as far as it goes, get out, don't look back, make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? 
There are worse. He's kind and he's caring and he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lot of things, but... And not strong like you, but strong enough to stand up to his family. There he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. You came. <laughs> you came one last time. Well, don't mind me. <laughs> my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. <clears throat> can I have... Three tickets to San Denis, please, sir. Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey, come no, on. Slow. Get back. Uh, Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You want to come back here without giving you a whipping? We should have done this last time. Get on the train, Mo. Go to your woman. Four fists and... Oh, now there's only one of you. Quite a family you've got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how to life. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with you with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewel! Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. Must have all the jewels in the state. The amount of your cousins here. the driver he's abandoning us old tired all right i'll take a look up front what will you do i'll figure it out damn it you did run 
Remind me to rob your trains, mister. God, this is so fun. Choo choo. <laughs> so I suppose we're we're still gonna be. Wait, isn't this what? What is going on with these uh, buffaloes? us anymore. My horse is still following the train. Oh, that's right. We're going to send the knee. So we might as well just uh, do Sadie's quest. This is great. All going to the plan. Okay, we are just gonna keep driving. This looks like that um that train in Back to the Future. And off to the Hogwarts we go. <laughs> yeah, the Hogwarts Express doesn't look exactly the same, but yeah. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Gigs? Rigs. Rigs station. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh... You carry protection on a journey like this? I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! <sighs> Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Mm -hmm. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! For you. Be a lot easier for you once you're all square. <laughs> Mong Cho Ami. I made it. I have the sun on my face and between my toes. 
why is this? Because they're free. I've never painted like I paint. <laughs> okay, so Chatney is living a good life. Hello, sister. Calderon. Brother Dorkins and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, 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 I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but pff, ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. <laughs> to me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. All right, you know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, Mr. Morgan. No, that ain't true. I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. Exactly. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Well, anyway, I must focus on the work at hand. Well, sister, you take care of yourself now. Money or food? How you doing, friend? Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are going to disguise ourselves in this, in this. Okay. Come on. <laughs> well, oh my God, these fools. We just look the part. We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. Keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. 
Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Let's go, quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? The hole's up on the roof. And once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So? They got a guy up on the roof, overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Suppose I can go from here. I think this is the only way to go. Where are you? Talking about. Well, Cole, there goes your escape plan. Just 
Shall can at times be barbaric? For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Should I just shoot him? O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court! Where you shall be tried, this is a place where your sentence is to be carried out, and your sentence, Cole Modriscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Arthur! If you can hear me, shoot some of these old pistols! How you get on, Arthur? Well, <clears throat> we saw the bastard hang okay, but <clears throat> no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. 